Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to The Real Legend of Gaming. We are here with World War Z, and we will be doing a review and first impression, folks. So now, before we even explain anything else, let's talk about what World War Z is. So World War Z is a thrilling four-player cooperative third-person shooter featuring massive swarms of zombies that recklessly rush their living prey. Focused on fast-paced gameplay and based on the incredibly popular Paramount Pictures property of the same name, World War Z explores new storylines and characters from around the world in tense, overwhelming, gruesomely exciting missions. So just think Left 4 Dead, right? This is like the closest thing we're going to get to Left 4 Dead 3, right? It's a great comparison. So let's talk about these zombies, right? The swarm feels neither fear nor mercy, right? It rolls forward to spread and consume. Together, make your stand and unload an arsenal of deadly weaponry into these hundreds of swarming zombies. Feel the satisfying rush of life as you cheat death and prevail against such overwhelming odds. Cut the undead down with rocket launchers, machine guns, sentries, turrets, grenade launchers, barbed wire, and much more. So folks, I mean, that sounds like pandemonium, right? It, it's insane, and I can tell you it is a ton of fun, especially when you're playing with a full squad. Now, as far as the gameplay details, you get to battle swarms of hundreds of zombies in gruesomely spectacular firefights, right? You got a co-op story-driven campaign. You fight other survivors in player versus player versus zombie modes. And then you also get to level six character classes and weapon upgrades to take on greater challenges. As far as the game features, you know, we did mention you get to choose your own class. There's six unique classes in this game. You have Gunslinger, Hellraiser, Slasher, Medic, Fixer, and Exterminator, each with their own unique perks and playstyles. You also get to customize powerful weapons to survive higher difficulty challenges. In-game zombie hordes behave like real crowds, getting stuck in narrow corridors and climbing on top of each other to reach players on higher levels. Hordes become increasingly more difficult to defeat and behave like single entity bosses as players progress through the game. Now, my experience playing this, I played a couple hours last night with my buddy The Unknown Games and all I can say is that overwhelming amounts of hordes is an understatement, man. There was points where I would stare down in the background of the map and see non-stop, non-stop. And I, and I say that twice because that's how it felt. The zombies just kept coming over and over and over from every angle of the map. I saw zombies drop from the ceiling of the mall. I seen them jump over walls. I seen them run through train tracks go through vents, jump out of sewer hose. Like, it was insane. They were coming from every direction, but I gotta admit, the weapons are really, really powerful. You know, you start off with tier one weapons, which is your standard stuff, and you're like, regular submachine gun, regular assault rifle, you know, scout rifle. Then you have weapons like carbon rifles, you have rocket launchers, you have heavy machine guns, you have revolvers, like, there's all types of weapons in this game, and each weapon has an upgrade that you can do that allows it to, you know, raise its handling, raise its accuracy. You know, you can kind of look at it like different attachments being added, right? Now, what I really enjoy most about this game, right, because I did tell you I was going to give you my first impressions, are the actual classes. And what's cool is that the game has, you know, four maps, but each map has three stages, and each map has specific characters they can use. You know, there's four different characters that each one of your teammates can choose. And they all have a pretty cool storyline to them as well. Now, as far as the classes, let me just go back to explaining why they're so unique, right? So, for example, you got Gunslinger. And, you know, the comment that's associated with it is, For those who skip the questions and shoot first, the Gunslinger is loaded with an arsenal of weapon damage and ammo boosting perks to mow down the dead. And the class has a skills tree associated with it. And I'll read the starter perk so you guys can get an idea of what each class starts with. So, the starter is called Give Me A Reason. And you start with a frag grenade and a compact SMG. Movement has no effect on weapon accuracy and recoil effect is also reduced. Then, um, you know, you can have an option of upgrading skills on this tree up to level 30. 
Then you got the Hellraiser class, which is enough explosives can solve any problem. Hellraisers come armed with C4 and other tools for effective crowd control. The starter skill is Demo Man. Start with a C4, Shotgun, and a Hailstorm MGL. The next class is the Medic. Sometimes the best way to fight the undead is keeping your teammates from becoming one of them. Armed with a stim pistol, medics can heal fellow survivors from a distance and help keep the chaos under control. And their starter skill is boost a shot. You start with a stim pistol, compact SMG, and free med kit. Using a med kit on a teammate also applies 25% effect on you. Then you have the fixer. When versatility in any situation is the highest priority, the fixer is there for you starting out with an explosive ammo case and several teammate ammo restoring perks. And their starter skill is Mule. Start with supply bag and scout rifle. Increase carried ammo capacity for primary and secondary weapons by 10% for all teammates. Then you have the class that I decided to start with and that's a slasher. For warriors with a sense of elegance, the best way is to kill with your trusty blade. Slashers have perks that increase melee damage and effectiveness while their arm tasers deliver electrifying results. The starter scale is called Shock Troops. You start with Stun Gun and Compact SMG. Perform additional melee strikes before becoming tired. Melee strikes damage two targets instead of one. And that really helps out when you're trying to clear a crop. Then you have your Exterminator class. Fire is the answer. Armed with Molotov cocktails and increased fire damage, the Exterminator just wants to watch the undead burn. And the starter skill is called Fire Starter. Start with Molotov and Shotgun, you deal 25% more damage to zombies during swarm attacks. And that's pretty much all the skills there and the starter perks. Overall, the game is awesome. For the price point, it's right now $39.99. It's totally worth it. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult to find it in the stores because this game is selling out everywhere. Uh, there's a lot of buzz around it. I mean, anytime you have a co-op game, you're going to have a, a huge crowd. Then you throw in a zombie game that's like Left 4 Dead, probably even better. You're going to be, you know, in for a world of amazement, right? So other than that, folks, you know, definitely recommend you get this game if you're into this type of genre. If you like action shooters, zombie games, co-op games, this is one for you. Um, and it also has a PvP that I didn't get a chance to play, but I've heard some pretty good things about it as well. So other than that, appreciate the support. I'll leave you with some more gameplay so you guys can see exactly how everything flows. And let me know in the comment section exactly what class you'd like to use, what's your favorite weapon in the game, and you know, basically if you're gonna pick up World War Z. All right, so other than that, appreciate the support. Peace out.